strange sound effects in the background, a certain cat has decided that this is the place he wants to be. Yeah. And he's currently going peculiar in the corner, so don't ask. So, welcome back to um, another mistranslated Shakespeare speech. And in this one, we have Lady Macbeth giving us the benefit of her wisdom about pillows. There is also a sound. He destroyed Duncan's ugly pillow under my rocks. The winds come. That is a sign of the thoughts and the flesh. I do not sleep here. Then I filled it from top to bottom. And bloody. Close the black gate and the path. An unexpected natural trip. Turn your head and do not pause. Consequences again. Come to my husband's ample bosom. My milk and my beard, you murderers. Nothing has eyes with objects. You are waiting for a natural evil. Come in the evening, I fell into the burning fiery furnace. In the same way, my sharp knife did not see the wound he had inflicted. Darkness can be seen in the sky. Shout! Keep going! Keep going! So I hope you enjoyed that little uh, that little insight into um, you know, Lady Macbeth's um, state of mind. We now know that the, the madness later on was not an isolated incident. Um, anyway, um, stay tuned for a, a special uh, feature showing the um, travails of filming, what I have to put up with, um, which of course stars everyone's favourite guest. And um, I will hopefully, if I can avoid strangling a cat, um, I will be bringing you some more speeches soon. Um, I have now translated um, a whole little bunch of them which I'm going to be doing over the next few weeks. Um, and then we will obviously be returning to Pride and Prejudice um, shortly. We had a bit of a hiatus because um, my mother unfortunately has been quite ill and has not been able to, to film them. So I've um, come up with uh, an alternative way of doing it and so we will get back to those. Um, shortly. Now, um, yeah, enjoy seeing what I have to put up with. Well, I like to try, try and include a bit of consistency wherever possible with sort of the dresses and the whatever. Now, I think, because obviously I have done Lady Macbeth before, when I did learn to lady my birth. And I think 
document when I did her, this is what she was wearing. She just sort of looked a bit mad. So anyway, this is sort of before. Uh, before then, but um, yes, so I thought I'll keep it in the same dress. You see, this is the sort of thing I have to contend with. Look at that. I got my green screen all set up. And look. Can you work out what that is? Do you see what I mean? Lombard, I've told you to stop this. You're going to rip it. I mean, he's already pulled off the thing on one side that's holding it up with his behaviour. The thing is, there's nothing I do, because if I try and get him out of it, of course, it moves it, which just encourages him. I dread to think what he's finding to eat round there. I don't want to know. Now, would you get out of there, you silly cat? Get out! I mean, we appreciate you cleaning the studio for us, but... Meow, yes, out. Stop it! Alright, yeah, you're putting it back for me, are you? Oh, thank you so much. Lombard, you're going to bring the whole thing down in a minute. Would you get out? Out. Now. now, you are not going to be allowed in here if you keep misbehaving. before I have to murder a cat. Ruff. 